if I had my perfect wish come true, I would live here during the off season, six months a year. And then the other six months, I, I would take off and live somewhere else. This is the Wyakill Airport down here in Baggage Claim. They have this tropical jungle down here. It's just really pretty. It's got fountains. It's got a piece of gum in there, a couple pieces of gum. Kids must have thrown them in there. <laughs> Hello, my dear followers. How are you today? I'm gonna, if you let me, give you a little relaxation view here of the beach early on Saturday morning. Talk about my life, your life. But we won't get too serious, I promise. Okay, what's on our minds today? An expression of love. I just love the off-season. I just love the off-season. If I had my perfect wish come true, I would live here, and this of course is relative because I already live here. <laughs> I'm not sure I would have this wish if I didn't live here. But I would live here during the off season and then, you know, that would be like about six months a year. And then the other six months I, I would take off and live somewhere else in the mountains or something. I don't know where. Not here. I, I read a comment when I was talking in Quito about how, you know, we, we spend our whole lives, or some of us do, sacrificing our lives in order to get to a retirement point. And in so doing, we sacrifice a lot of ways of doing things, of learning different ways of thinking and doing, because we're always doing the same thing. I'm saying that just to say this, that I made a comment on, on some videos I was making about Quito about this subject you know people can now now once they're retired once you're retired you can travel on off season and somebody chimed in saying yeah but it's not the perfect beach you know it's not the perfect water it's not this is what's being missed with that kind of thinking when you're on vacation you know you have to leave the vacation vacation vacate for a short period it's usually a week or two sometimes a little longer but not too much but you know it's a very short duration so everything has to be perfect because it's a short duration you're paying short duration prices everything's more expensive the idea is to let out all that pressure and steam and vacate and enjoy that's the whole focus and so when that's the focus you want everything to be perfect. I mean, you know, the sun's got to shine every day and it's got to shine all day and it's got to be perfect water and all this kind of stuff. But when you're not on a short vacate, you know, you're retired, right? Everything, life isn't, look, nature is perfect as it is. For example, look at today here. Look at all those clouds. This is the off season. You know what? I love it. I love it. I can stand out here and not burn. <laughs> not be subject to having to pay five to ten dollars just to sit on the beach under somebody else's umbrella. You know, little things like that that just, to me, make it so much less stressful and more enjoyable. I can still go in the water and enjoy it. And I can come here every day and not worry about skin cancer. <laughs> You see, the perspective changes. The perspective changes. And there's a lot to say about that. If you want, we can talk a lot more about that. Let us know in the comments and we can talk more about it.
clouds are spread all over in the off season and I'll tell you it's a really welcome change that house has been so hot on the second floor I noticed when we were in the hotel in Panama City we had to go up to the top floor to get the free breakfast frequently the elevator was too full and so we took the stairs and we noticed that the very top floor and the next floor so the last two top floors were very hot compared to the rest of the floors so a lot of times you don't really know what you're getting into people that have to have the penthouse interesting name penthouse i know what that's like in the house i'm at the top floor and tell you it's all we can do just to keep it cool but anyhow i'm really happy that the hot season's gone hey what do we got here is this dog friendly oh he's wagging his tail hola buenos dias no morde no no morde morde su comida ah por, por tal vez yo soy la comida no tienes cara de comida ella come solamente lo mofino no 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 Part of why I don't do very many videos with locals because that was in Spanish. Now I have to translate for you. I, I asked her if he if he bites, and she said, "Well, he bites his own food." And I said, "Well, maybe he mistakes me for his food." <laughs> and she reassured me that he he wouldn't do that <laughs> because he he likes his food <laughs> or something to that effect. So, yeah, that brings me to this thought. Whenever I talk to Ecuadorians about the gringo gouging and overpricing, like I was talking to an Ecuadorian about uh, when I call ads for rentals, and, you know, the price is listed in the, in the paper, and then when I call them, the minute they hear a gringo voice, they, they up the price a little bit. And when I explain that to other Ecuadorians, they always laugh. <laughs> It's funny. It's funny to them. Um, <laughs> and understand, they're not on the receiving end of gringo gouging. <laughs> okay? So it's, it's funny. I was uh, talking about a, a different uh, scenario in Mercados with a, a completely different Ecuadorian. And he was cracking up laughing. I got this guy, couldn't stop laughing at my experiences of, of gringo gouging. I've got a lot to share about this. I've been thinking about putting out some information about uh, how to really, really shop at Mercados because there definitely is something to it and a trick to it. And if you don't know it, I had a lady, listen, I had a lady at a Mercado quote me twice as high as Super Maxi. So it's, it's not insignificant. It's an issue that has to be addressed. It's not about anything else that people, they want to twist the matter to make it sound like some sort of feelings or tugging at your conscience as if you're doing something wrong. Quoting me twice as much as Super Maxi is not acceptable. I'm sorry, I don't care how you, how you turn that around. So there's definitely a way of doing these kinds of things. And guys, I wouldn't mislead you, okay? You know, I'm going to tell you things from the Ecuadorians and from the locals. I'm not, this is the channel's, you know, it's not my opinions. If it's my opinion, I'll tell you. My experience is based on dealing with Ecuadorians. So it isn't the experience of a tourist. So yeah, experiences matter. And it's not the experience of a newbie. And it's the perspective, as I've outlined in other videos, of somebody that has done a lot They've seen all of the United States and been to, no, I can't claim 100 countries, but, or 200 countries or whatever, but that's not necessary. But anyhow, uh, yeah, the Ecuadorians crack up laughing when I talk to them, just like this lady just did about her dog, and it was a nice friendly exchange, and I love that. And I just happened to have the camera open, and that's why I got it on video, otherwise, you can't always get that on video, you know? <laughs> Especially in places like Mercados. You don't, you don't want to walk around with a camera around some of these neighborhoods. It's just not appropriate. But if you want to hear about it, I'll tell you about it. Thank you for coming to my channel and thank you.
for leaving your comments, your thoughtful comments. Once in a while somebody doesn't like what I say and they get upset. Don't let it get to you, it's not personal. It's just perhaps a lot of times we're surprised with a perspective that we hadn't thought about and our first reaction is to get jumpy. Chill out. Remember, live your life one day at a time. Thanks again for your watching our videos and for the patrons, thank you very much for your support. We appreciate you. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, the changes I've been discussing for the GringoGoodSamaritans.com have been implemented in an effort to offer a better service to the community and to our followers. Uh, we've we've implemented the changes that we've uh, have been in the works for uh, quite some time, and we're, we're proud to say, uh, you know, go check it out over there on the GringoGoodSamaritan.com. The best information in the community that you will find anywhere on these subjects on GringoGoodSamaritans.com. Go over there and sign up for it. Thanks.